hello folks welcome to the wednesday forecast and trade recap so i had no trades in the past 24 hours uh but let's take a look at the market it looks like we are kind of range bound but i am expecting a move because it's more of a consolidation where we get a consolidation and then we get a nice expansion so it's not looking that bad overall we are seeing some potential euro us dollar no potential for this one unfortunately but the rest of the pairs look a bit better this one just seems to be stuck in this area and just v reversals all over the place wicks huge wicks to the upside huge wicks to the downside and just really really bad price action unfortunately but uh, for eu it is to be expected we usually get um really small a number of trades on this particular pair so the setups are far and few in between but when we do get a setup it usually gives us some nice percentage usually works out again i'm looking for a large impulse down to sell or i'm looking for a large impulse up and then to buy to move away from these critical areas below and above so that is the main the main point for the price action to move away from this crappy looking structure so what is also interesting that we are kind of uh we are kind of hovering around the 1.00000 level so that is really normal because it is a psychological level and price is, keeps trying to break through it gets rejected and is kind of all over the place at this certain level so yeah that is to be expected the the traders are battling it out do we want to push it down more or do we want to go up but we need to wait for them to pick a di direction up or a direction down um ej looks a bit better it's kind of stuck in this consolidation right here so that is a kind of a problem but then again it can just be a consolidation before that nice expansion to the upside or to the downside what i'm noticing is of course these liquidity areas have formed now below and above what we need to be careful of is how we reach these areas do we just break and retrace or do we actually break with some nice conviction to the upside get a nice uptrend or some nice conviction to the downside and get that nice clean downtrend so yeah be alert of these setups do look for a descending and then a reversal or an ascending and then a nice reversal to the downside and do look for a trend to start down or for a trend to start up again uh, the best option here would be that this overall uptrend continues so what i'm looking for is for this nice uptrend to continue to the upside something like this and then that we get a nice opportunity to enter further up that will be the best bet so waiting for that momentum up or that momentum down and currently just being more patient au aussie us dollar is having these v reversals so that's eh, not really ideal but again it can just be a consolidation before we make a nice move up or a nice move down so right here i was looking for maybe this to continue up give us some nice setups fortunately we got a v reversal broke the low retrace broke the low retraced again and then broke the high retraced so this volatility i'm expecting more of a larger range to be honest with you and because of this v reversal prior to that so i'm just expecting that larger range now we can get some setups but we need to see that large momentum down like this of course this is a critical area to break we need that nice conviction out of that range bound area so maybe a nice break and retest a nice flag whichever opportunity we do get and i'm looking for momentum to the upside so i'm looking for that nice impulse up and then for a nice trend to start or a nice break and retest flag whichever uh continuation entry pattern we can get our hands on um so yeah this is what this one is not looking the best i would more focus on looking at the japanese pairs to be honest like the ej and the aj pair 
and even AJ doesn't look that good. <laughs> now that I now that I'm looking at it, it just looks kind of stuck in range. So one one thing to note, we did have a V here. Usually we do get a range just like this. We kind of start ranging and then we kind of impulse down so and get a nice opportunity to enter further down so something like this definitely keeping an eye out for this particular setup because we have now got this first part which is the v we have got we, we are starting to get the second part and let's see if this will continue down also one thing that i can potentially see is I don't really trade it but I know that it does work out because of my prior trading experience so it's sort of the same methodology where we get like a head and shoulders pattern and then we continue down so it's the same as looking at a V reversal and then a range and then a push down so it's kind of the same thing and here we do have the left shoulder the head and then the right shoulder so definitely also a um, sort of a something to give us a bit more uh, a bit more assurance that maybe if this continues down it's worth selling so yeah definitely seeing that v reversal and this range starting to range again i'm looking for also for this to start pushing up maybe but then i need to see that nice large impulse and the nice break and retest something like this to give me that uh, real conviction because otherwise I'll, I'll just be not not be convinced for reversals for this particular pair i'm not looking for any so i'm not really looking for a reversal at this current point or for a reversal to form they don't really work out in this pair what i'm looking for when i'm looking for a reversal is that nice large ascending or that nice large descending and currently i just don't see it forming in the near future so let's move on to the pound and us dollar currently not showing me anything but overall price action is looking it's looking okay it's not that bad so let's see if this move down will continue if this leg down can continue more <clears throat> and then we maybe get a nice clean flag or we get uh, the the highest probability setup on this pair which is a push small pullback and then nice break and retest trade so looking for those two options also seeing if this will maybe start to descend more and then give us a nice uptrend from there so definitely seeing if that will happen so yeah looking for large momentum on this par particular pair final one so new zealand and the japanese yen this one um is just stuck in a range we did have a nice uptrend before, so right here, there was a nice uptrend, unfortunately it didn't end well, so it broke the high and retraced, and then we got the V reversal, and then we just started ranging around, so no opportunity at this current point. What I'm looking for is just for price action to move away from the current structure. Now this again just may be some consolidation before we start moving. Uh, we did have this huge range prior which was a, a big big warning sign. Try to push up, rejected, try to push up again, rejected. But then again this can also continue. We can just have a range here and then this push up consolidation above the range and then continuation to the upside. So let's see if this does continue up or do we just retrace back into the range which would be a big big warning sign. So what I'm looking for in this pair is that nice large push up for it to start trending or even a huge push down. I would be interested in taking that and then nice downtrend. That is it for the forecast. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy it is Wednesday. Usually on Wednesday we can be a bit more lenient with our setups because the markets tend to trend, trend more on Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays. NFP is this Friday, I did check it, so this Friday I am not trading after the London Open. Um, and that is it. So that is it for the forecast. Keep your eyes on the Euro Japanese Yen. I do see some potential in that pair and I will see you guys tomorrow.